Hey guys, welcome to another video of this Make a YouTube Like Platform series. And today we are going to make our nav bar and our footer bar, footer component. And the footer component we're going to make is going to be located in our components folder basically because it has no connection with our server. It is going to be the static the way as it is, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to our tail blocks. I'm gonna scroll a little bit down, a little bit more down till we find this thing. Okay, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to copy the clipboard, come back here. Actually, we need to convert it in, into JSX format. I'm going to copy it now, come back RFC, React Functional Component, and now we're gonna paste it right there. What we want to do is just place tail blocks with something like L Dorney Tube Twenty Twenty Two L Dorney One on Telegram T dot me slash L Dorney One Indigo should be replaced with Amber. There we go. Now you might think about like how do we actually have our footer to be shown in all of our places on of our on of our page? Are we just gonna import it in all of our components? No, you are not going to do that. That's what underscore app has to do. Here we're gonna say return like that in uh, brackets, and uh, we're gonna have empty tags for length for now. Later on we will use context APIs to fill it. We'll say blower components. Ish, there should be footer component. Okay, it should be located below over all of the components, basically like that. And if we start start the server now, we we should be we should be actually able to see our footer bar, or you can say footer component. Okay, do a refresh hydration fail because the initial UI does not match. Okay, I know the issue. Go to the footer of JSX, and here you may notice something. We are actually having this span thing inside the A tag. We need to replace it with a div. Okay. Just don't have A tags openly like that. Replace all of your A tags with the divs. And yeah, that should fix your issue. Let me give my code a little bit more clean here. Don't want to have a lot of chunks. Do a refresh. Okay, hydration failed because da 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 A link, it should be inside the div. So, yeah, there's an issue going on somewhere. I need to figure out the issue and I have to come back to you guys in a minute. Actually, everything is working good. We have to just stop our server, start it again, do a full refresh. Full refresh now, and uh, basically we should not see any issues. This is saying us div cannot appear as a descendant of p tag, which means so HTML to continue matching div and p. We are somewhere having a p tag. Maybe in our not here though. Okay, here. Name of owner. You see, these little things actually make sense. They are just for us, okay? I need to say no throttling actually. My bad. And yeah, we are pretty much good to go. I do a refresh and there we go. 
this is our footer bar for now and we need to set up a nav bar we do the same we go back there we find the header that we want I think uh, this one should do it let's copy the clipboard convert it into j6 gonna copy the j6 go back into over here and the navbar is going to be inside of our page folder because we want it to give have a little bit connection with the server maybe are we going to use get server side props in here uh, I am not really much sure but I guess we may have may need to okay we may need to do that but mm, let's just do one thing let's just uh, let's just have the neighbor in the components neighbor dot j6 RFC we'll see in the future what to do with that thing. here we have quite a few options we'll change the button to we'll not actually change it to something we'll actually have an image right there okay we'll get rid of the button basically we make a day we're gonna put this image inside there and we are going to have another icon for uploading an upload uh, kind of a little small icon just like an upload icon so first of all let me just set up this thing let me copy the same image URL that we had before paste it right there let me say class name is going to be profile logo it's a different class name you may notice that already and that we are going to go to global CSS, duplicate it, profile logo. In here, the width is going to be around 50 pixels. Okay, let's say 55. Border radius is going to be around 35 pixels because it has actually increased. So, yeah, because the width and height are more than it they were before. So yeah, it does make sense. Okay, we're gonna close this one. Let's go back here. We need to have here the font awesome. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna say font awesome CD and React. We're going to go to the first page of the font awesome. Okay, that's telling us to do something, right? No, this one. Okay, this one. We're gonna say get started. Just copy this yarn and just go back, paste it here, hit enter, and they're going to set up your those things. We're gonna go back here. We don't have to import this one because they are for the pro versions. And pretty much it. That's it. I will just tell you how do we import I font awesome icons in React. It's fairly simple and it's more accessible than uh, doing using net non rational JavaScript because you have to say for icon and the I can name stuff like that but here is just different what we are going to do now we are just gonna say font okay font I guess we need to install the font awesome also Right, we did install that, right? Let's do npm also. I'm not sure if you are did it properly because you should have just shown me font awesome right there. Oh, it was kind of fast. Mm, what is it called? Never mind. We'll import it by ourselves. Font awesome icon. We have to close it right there. We're gonna say inside it, we want the icon to be equal to far. Okay, basically it's not reading over things. 
I'm going to delete this next folder and I say yarn dev build yarn build so I'm going to create a build of our next JavaScript. Not sure it's just going to make any change or not. Linting and things and things. Okay, don't use image. Use I am image from next image and instead. I guess you're right. Because we're still setting up the width and height by ourselves. So we can use the image. Let's say constant image. No. Import image from next slash image. Here we need to say width is going to be 55, height is going to be 55. And then goes the other things that we have already defined in here. That's the same for another logo in here. So do import image from next slash image, and we can just say width is going to be 40. I is going to be 40. I don't really much know what this 40 40 means. I hope it means uh, the pixels itself. But yeah, we'll see about that. We'll say yarn dev. Start a new yarn dev uh, develop an application. Do a refresh. Invalid source group. The host name is not configured and the uh, image in your next config. Let us see what the issue is. Okay, in the model exports we need to have and uh, Where is that next config? We're gonna have another new thing. Oh, it's React strict mode stuff like that, right? We don't want the strict mode, right? We're gonna say rewrite next is yes. copy this little file. It is going to help us to connect with our database actually. Actually backend. If we make any call to API slash anything or auth slash our call anything it can be literally anything we want to redirect our uh, our call our request to our backend that is going to be http slash localhost 3000 slash authentication slash call that call that we want to return we want to run a proxy so basically this is what we want we want to just stop and run our server again Oh yeah, we need to do that thing also. Image and we need to mention the domains. I'm not sure if this actually makes sense. But I hope it does make sense. Okay, it doesn't. I will come back in a minute. Okay. Okay. So basically, we only need to mention the host name that we have mentioned, right? That. Okay. It just goes away. Now we'll go to. Now our homepage. Where is our homepage? Here we were saying before, MR3 margin on the right side is going to be 3. I think it doesn't include that thing, right? 
yeah the source is going to be like automatically generated they're going to think yeah we have generated the thing but we have not it's coming from somewhere else but they don't know that and that's a really good thing okay let me see what we got here alrighty basically then I'm considering about MR3 maybe we'll just say margin right is going to be 5 pixels 10 pixels oh so I wonder what is happening here and I'm pretty sure about that we're trying to have margin but the thing is what if I say this is going to be span tag yeah a span tag just gets back in the moment what we can do instead is just go like that go back to home page you can say plus musical this and margin left is going to be 3 we're doing the same thing but for the name itself okay that's a good thing now we are loading our image using next image and it's much better here we're doing the same thing we're getting the font also we can just say icon is going to be equal to pop upload this is going to import the file upload by itself you can say icon shift plus enter and import font also my icon that's a good thing and really that's it you have to do you can just Add your styles a little bit you know you can add more styles here just to make the thing more much more bigger stuff like that but then that's a secondary thing we need to say class name is going to flex so they are in the same line and uh, we can just say come something like a a video stuff like that so we can just put it here maybe I will say it as uh, another div upload video I'll say class name is going to be flex and it's going to be flex column because I want them to be one on the top one on the middle and I want uh, just the fight uh, to to be in the center I want them both of them to be centered not sure how this is going to look like but we are just going to find out when we import our nav bar in here okay it doesn't look the worst thing <laughs> I've ever made okay it's looking pretty good I wasn't expecting this result I'll be honest with you all we have to do is just make our thing much more bigger we got a class name and we're gonna say something like Maybe scale 200 is just the maximum. Not even the maximum. Okay, is it actually scaling or not? Okay, scale 150. I think that is pretty much folder. Okay. Margin right of five. Yeah, I don't think I need this upload video thing like that. It pretty much defined itself already, right? Control Shift plus back ticks. So where are we doing here? 70, 160, 150 exist. Scale 150, 150 doesn't matter. Just going to do the same thing. Okay, we can say mm, text Excel. Okay, got a little bit more bigger. It has already the scale properties, so it should actually take a good effect. 
I can also see LG. LG is also quite more bigger, but XL is okay for now, I would say. Maybe a little bit more distance between our logo and the stuff. Maybe 10 should have a quite a good effect. 8 should be our final. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we need to replace this tail blocks with a Eldoni tube, and we're gonna have our indigo replaced with the uh, amber basically yep I'll done it too in the first second link stuff like that we want to replace them also so basically what we want to do first of all here we are having a bell done it too right what I want to do okay this is in wrapped inside an a tag that's a very shit thing to know I want to wrap inside inside a div tag and okay let me just I'll go brief into this one we're having an we're here having a SVG. We're gonna make it a new div tag. Okay, we're gonna do something like that. I wanna wrap this LDN tube inside that thing. I wanna name it class name is going to be flex, basically flex. Okay, we already have the flex thing right there. Okay, 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 I get it now, get it now. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna say add two more span things. One should be register. Another one just should should just say login. They're not going to be that much bigger as text Excel. Register login looks pretty good to me. Maybe have a cursor pointer on all of them. And for the Aldani tube, if someone clicks on this one, okay, we want to import the link here also. I'm going to say import link from next slash link. And we want to have a link tag right there. I'm going to say link. Add track is going to be slash. Okay. Let's say, okay. A control plus exit and paste it right there. And there we go. Here we want to say go to slash register. Here we want to say go to slash login. All having cursor thing, cursor thing like that. I guess it should be pretty much it. Maybe it, maybe if they click on the logo, it should be do the same thing, right? Okay, so maybe you want to wrap uh, this link. this specific link around the SVG also so the both of them have the control only one child is supported right yep not an issue for us and just wrap the child inside this inside an empty div stuff like that okay we have something like that as we need to say this div is going to be class flex so we they are flex direction as row by default okay there's something like that call it span so both of them are okay not exactly what I expected it to have be So basically what we want to do right now is we want to just do this and do this. Actually we want to do this. I think it's, it's just the same thing that we're doing. Span tag right there. Okay, here we can say class name origin y auto and a little bit margin left too, maybe. Yeah, looks good. 
So basically, this all has the same link. If I click here, it should take me to the home page, which is the home page itself, right? If I click here, it should take me to the register page and login page. You may notice that this little thing right here. Okay, so that was the main things that we are going we were going to set up. Well, we are going to set up a lot more things to be honest, but it's just a starting, and uh, we need to here replace these things with the search bar. Okay, goodbye guys. And uh, the search bar coming, bro. Mm, okay. Search. Hmm. Border black doesn't really work, no. Is there border property in here? Maybe like. Uh, let's do a quick search. I'm gonna say. Uh, border in Tailwind CSS. Border style, border width. Yeah, anything. Border for border X. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. Border 1. And then the border is going to be black. Oh, there's nothing like border one. They start with the border two. Well, that's not good to know because I don't want border two. Just gonna say style. Border 0.5 pixel solid. We are defining the color using the tail and CSS, right? Good. So we have a little bit search bar like that. I think it's in the middle. Alrighty, so we're gonna do one thing. I'm gonna just uh, yeah, close this thing. It has the flex wrap property, flex column. Okay, why are they saying flex column? Because I don't see any columns right there. Right, it doesn't matter. Okay, well we have MD flex row. Oh, I see. Let's just keep this flex call right there because and when we're gonna have using the when we're gonna use the mobile phone, we're gonna do this, and this is going to look how it, this is how it's going to look like. I like to use Tailwind CSS components because they have already set up things like this. You know, it is so easy to use them. Other than that, it's all pretty fine. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a search. We have a little bit search bar right there. Maybe we make it a little bit of 50% or maybe 100 percent so okay, 100 percent is the width of the thing itself, right? Wait, 100 percent Oh, that 100 percent is just going to blast off all the things. It's gonna say, no, you all don't belong here, just go away. So, this thing is going to be like. Let me make first change. Same border gray 400. Is that even a thing? Uh, border gray. And I have a little bit of padding, padding like one. Okay, we're gonna have a, a radius, border radius. So rounded, rounded is going to be MD. I think that one is pretty good. Like, yeah. That looks pretty good. We have a small uh, search bar, but I think for now this small search bar isn't the worst choice that we can make. 
I mean, you can of course have something like weird stuff like that. Weight is going to be I need to move to the home page. MD weight is going to be not actually MD. So we weight is going to be one by Two by one, is that even a thing? We're just saying yeah. This is going to be a little bit more than it already is. Okay, we cannot increase the weight like that. I will be honest with you guys, but the weight doesn't the weight doesn't look so bad. I mean as a starting, okay? So we're gonna do the last things. Afterwards this video is going to finish. This has been a little very long video. And here we're gonna have a Cursor of pointer. And for the image, there's gonna be a little bit more different things. We're gonna have a if someone hovers over it, we're gonna have a little bit of shadow. Uh MD, kinda like that. Okay, MD is a uh, way too small for this thing, I guess. Well, my bad. MD is fair enough, we're going to have a cursor of pointer. I don't think the shadow is noticeable, but we don't have much of a, we don't have much of a choice, right? Do we? No, we don't. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, things are working pretty fine. Are all the things now but in the footer? We got these extra things that we are now like, never going to use, but okay. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day and uh, do your things. Enjoy your life. Bye bye.